The threat came by way of an email days after the ransomware attack. The feds identified the relatively new group of experienced hackers as Royal, whose members claimed to steal sensitive data for double extortion attacks. Payment demanded, the feds report, has ranged from $250,000 to $2 million. The superintendent confirmed the hackers got their hands on staff's sensitive information. Friday morning, February 3rd, four days after TOSD's brutal ransomware attack. Royal sent this email to about 150 staffers. It's titled, Data Leak Urgent. Royal wrote, Hello guys, hope you just missed the fact that we have stolen up to 290 gigabytes or 400,000 files of your corporate data, including all personal students' info, passport, social security number, driver's license, birth certificate, and much more. Cybersecurity expert Victor Wazorek of GuidePoint Security says hackers like to showboat. Do we believe them? Are we supposed to believe them? They certainly want us to believe them. And in case the district didn't, Royal wrote, see proof in the attachments. Six PDF files with students' names, which we blurred out, followed by passport. I've only been able to identify one through an online search, a former TUSD student. Could it be overblown? Could you know some of those files be nothing? Of course, of course they can. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we should throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's because personal data has been leaked before by other ransomware groups. CNN reported in 2022, the Los Angeles School District confirmed cyber criminals released some of the hacked data online. Royal warned to USD, just imagine what will happen if such data leak into the internet. Hurry up. The Royal email also included what they claim was more proof, internal links to financial files. Some links included names of current staffers. That same day, the district informed the entire staff about the data leak email, and they've launched an investigation to determine if the information is real and accurate. The district then encouraged staff to remain vigilant in reviewing their financial account statements for fraudulent activity and consider free fraud alerts or security freeze on credit files. The district told the board in public last month. Uh, until now, there is no proof that there is any sensitive data uh, uh, regarding our students or teachers or others that have been, that have been leaked. But the superintendent has now confirmed. Royal got its hands on at least staff information. Gabriel Trujillo sent out a notification late Friday to the TUSD community. We have reached a point in our investigative efforts where we can confirm that employee information of a confidential and sensitive nature was accessed by the cyber attackers. Our cybersecurity forensic experts are working to confirm the extent to which this information has been stolen, sold, or published online. Trujillo wrote, if the investigation by the experts determines that confidential information was compromised, then the affected employee will receive individual communication on behalf of Tucson Unified. But what about the parents and students? Royal stressed it had all personal students' info. The cybersecurity expert says if there's no proof hackers that don't have all of it, you have to assume they do. We all have to go under the assumption that our data has been lost in one way, shape, or form, and it's, it's a terrible reality to live into, but there are certain protections that we can take. What about the ransom demand? There's no word on the exact amount Royal has demanded, and the district has not revealed what that is or whether it paid it out. Again, Royal is known for double extortion attacks. The feds urge organizations not to cave in and give the cyber criminals what they want. Rezoric says some decide to pay, some don't. Yeah, certainly we've seen a lot of uh, organizations decide to pay the ransom and obviously some that have decided not to. Every individual, every organization is unique and, and certainly no right answer. We've reached out to the district for an interview with the superintendent. Dr. Trujillo declined to sit down with us, but is providing us with interviews with the district's IT executives. We'll keep you updated on this development as we continue our investigative series, TUSD's Cyber Shutdown. Valerie Cavazos, 13 News Investigates.